these seem to originate much later on in the person's life, that is during the middle adolescence or uh, by the early adulthood, unlike specific phobia which is mostly originating in childhood. And here also we see that women tend to have a more common uh, tendency to have social phobia, uh, unlike men and also a lot of people in the world altogether experience social phobia at some point or the other in their lives. Now when we see uh, the prevalence, nearly two third of people with social phobia, they suffer from one or more additional anxiety disorders at some point in their life. And also about 50% of them suffer from a depressive disorder at the same time that they experience the social phobia. It could be due to the fear of meeting and interacting with others and the kind of judgments that they are uh, perceiving from them. One third of the, the population also experience abusing alcohol to reduce their anxiety symptoms and also to help give, give them some amount of courage to face the situations that they are afraid of. For example, they drink or they drink away for a party so that they can interact with people without showing that they are afraid of meeting and uh, interacting with them. Uh, because of all these troubles, the people experiencing social phobia also tend to have a lower employment rate and lower socioeconomic status and a severe impairment in one or more domains of their life because they are uh, they tend to avoid a lot of situations in their life uh, which is difficult because we are all social beings and we live in a place in a society full of individuals uh, who have to express themselves and also try to survive or earn so that they can survive therefore um, such people face a lot of severe impairments in their social life in their family life in their uh, interpersonal relations with their peers with friends etc and uh, it is also remarkably persistent uh, with one finding which says that over 37 percentage of people uh, have this social phobia for uh, over 12 ye years of their life so uh, like we previously saw if there are any kind of benefits seen out of having this phobia such as not having to deal with people and their judgments and uh, you know trying to please people etc uh, the phobic nature doesn't seem to change in most of the people experiencing it and to connect to that we see that social phobia is more of a direct or a vicarious classical conditioning where people who experience or witness it perceive some negative consequence such as a, a humiliation or a defeat and they try to recall and identify such traumatic experiences as one of the re reasons why they have phobia in the first place. And 92% of adults with social phobia report having severe teasing uh, in their childhood which originates from school, uh, between friends, between siblings and uh, compared to 35% of people in the group who also seem to have developed OCD symptoms uh, due to the severe teasing in their childhood. And uh, people with social phobia show robust conditioning of fear when the uncondi unconditional stimulus, which is socially relevant, uh, they tend to have a rather high amount of fear when it comes to whatever is socially relevant stimulus to them, such as uh, critical facial expressions and verbal insults. So sometimes they are unable to uh, understand it or they are afraid of seeing and witnessing certain expressions like that. And we also tend to say that a lot of such traumatic experiences uh, are linked to their current image of themselves in a social a socially phobic situation and they tend to grow emotionally cold and isolate themselves as a result of this.